Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Tracy here with the critters and Bradley. injured Brad. Just laughing so hard. And I, and I, I do really worry if he's hurt or not, but I couldn't help laughing. You know when somebody does something? Well, Bradley accidentally twanged his, his nipple because we have this box of cards. just like thank you cards or blank and stuff that I use, that we use whenever we have somebody purchase. Um, and uh, so he was making out thank you card. He's getting a, a birdhouse ready that sold. And he was putting the hair tie, you know, the elastic hair tie, back around the box and it broke and it, it got him pretty good. And, but it was just like, oh God, my nipple. He just, the way he was, and I just couldn't help it. Well, are you okay? Yeah. Is it still there? Yeah, then he looks, he's like, it's still there. Is it bruised? Yeah. Oh. It just hurt like a... It just hurt. So, as you can see, it's my birthday. 55. Happy to be alive. You know, all of that good stuff. Um, having a good day. I'll click that off, though. I know that's annoying after a little bit. But, um, yeah, and then, you know, happy birthday to our nation and everything. Um, I share with, you know, with the whole United States. Like I said, and I know that those of you that watched me for a number of years know that my grandmother always had it convinced as a child that the reason um, the fireworks were because it was my birthday, you know. So um, I do want to show you a hat. Real fast that I finished it was that one I showed you yesterday and I just love how this this yarn did the self striping and stuff. I just think it's so cool. So this is a small adult. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. Still loving this to death. I really, really love it. My friend Rachel is such a sweetheart and she's always so accepting and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I hope someday I get to spend some time with you and, and, and Christy. That's, that would be awesome. And Mr. Hug and Mr. Heidi can hang out, too. <laughs> we'll find them something to do. What? Her husband, Mr. Hug. Oh. Yeah, that's what his name is. Okay. Their last name is Hug. Okay. But she always calls him Mr. Hug. Okay. Yeah. yeah that. He was wondering what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I don't have any major plans today. Um, we did get up and have a couple donuts. Uh, don't judge. It's my birthday. I love donuts, so I very rarely have any, but had a couple. Then we went back to bed for a little bit, and um, uh, now uh, here, it, and when I get done recording this, um, I'm going to go into the art studio and mess around for a while with headphones on and listening to Pandora. I'm working on another hat also, right here. Um, and I'm just taking it easy today. Brad's going to make his wonderful chicken enchiladas for my birthday, and that'll be good. And uh, we're just chilling out. We are going to make sure that we put some of these um, calming, uh, aid, um, in the dog's food tonight, in both of their food, um, so it'll help, we're going to feed them probably about 7, 7.30, probably about 7.30, make sure this is in there, so if there are any fireworks, this is already in place. Now, we've been lucky, we have not heard any fireworks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Usually you hear some early on, and we haven't heard any, so um, that's been good. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't hate anybody that's doing the fireworks. It's not their fault that my dog, my dog are um, are uh, afraid, and it's not their fault if if somebody else has PTSD that that triggers. And I do, and I am very sympathetic, but also, you know, these people most of the time, you know, unless they're drunk and they're just, you know, being stupid about it, um, you know, they're just trying to have a little bit of fun. Um, 
So, and that's just my personal opinion. I know other people absolutely hate, you know, anybody shooting off fireworks and stuff, and I can I can sympathize with that. But, yes. Oh, go ahead. In 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 the county we lived in in Wyoming, it was illegal to have basically any kind of fireworks. I don't even know if you could have sparklers. Mm, I don't know. I don't um, I know a long time ago when we were kids, we were allowed to have sparklers and then uh, smoke bombs. Remember that would fizzle out and it would put a, like a trail of smoke, colored smoke. Mm -hmm. And then what were those ones called that that. Um, the snakes. The snakes. I love the snakes. The snakes and the smoke bombs I love. And my parents would allow us to have those. And I would put those snakes on the um, metal seat of, of the swing set. We had one in the backyard. Yeah. And then watch it, you know, go down. I love those. Um, you know, so, uh, but, so, yeah, they weren't allowed to have, um, you know, because it's such a high fire danger in Wyoming, you know. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Especially so, mid June, it's things yeah. start drying out real yep. good. And, yep. Usually. Yeah. You know, a normal year. So, um, yeah, it's all good. Like I said, I'm gonna go in and and uh, get my jam on. I'm working on a couple paintings, and um, just enjoy that. You know, Brad gave me a little dance earlier. <laughs> I had to shake his money maker. So, um, uh, yeah. Do you have anything to say? Uh, no. It's kind of exciting getting your first yeah. order for birdhouses. Yeah. That's one thing I wanted to talk about is, um, you know, I know many of you aren't probably in the position to buy paintings or birdhouses right now. You know, so many people are on um, a uh, fixed, income. fixed income. Thank you. Um, and I totally get that. Um, we're trying to make a living off of, of, of this because, um, very soon Brad's unemployment will be done and they don't, uh, they only allow 13 weeks. They don't even allow an extension or anything. So, you know, we're trying to make a living off of this. So if you can, you know, make sure you're subscribed, like, and share, um, our video. Uh, and it would be so appreciated because we do need to get more orders coming because that literally is going to be our um, gas money, food money, the dog's food money, like Nixie has coming up, that she needs dog food again. That's $75 a bag, but she has to have it. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll make it and stuff. And, but yeah, if you can, if you can like and share and stuff, share on your Facebook or whatever social media you have, that would be so appreciated. Um, I'm going to start tomorrow. I will start listing some more paintings and stuff. Um, you know, today I'm going to take off it's my birthday, but, um, yeah. So if you guys could do that, that would be great. I would really, really appreciate that. Uh, you know, um. You know, or if you want to just do a donation on the, on the PayPal and stuff, um, you know, uh, that's always appreciated, too, because, um, like, we're getting ready to ship hats. Those are expensive. Um, and I've got a couple um, thank you gifts I, I want to ship. Um, so those will have to wait until we get paid again unless we get a donation. But, you know, you want people to know that you appreciate them and stuff, um, you know, uh, but, uh, it'll all work out, it always does, but, um, yeah, that's what we're doing, Brad's looking in earnest for, I know we said we wanted him to be able to stay home, and we would love that, but we've got to have some income for, um, uh, food and that kind of stuff, and because I'm going to have some medical stuff coming up. Yeah. For now, we've canceled Brad's, um, uh, who was that with? Orthopedic. Orthopedics. Um, I'm kind of foggy today. Um, because, uh, we've got some stuff coming up. We'll explain all that down the road. Um, but, uh, for now, we just, you know, we can only afford so many copays. And my going to the specialist gynecologist, uh, is, 
it can't be put off with the problems I'm having and stuff that desperately need to be checked out. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. It's just life. Brad's mom's still in hospice. Um, she's still poor woman, still clinging on, but she's a, she's comfortable now. So that's good. I mean, organs are starting to shut down and stuff. I mean, it could literally be any time now. Um, you know, so, you know, if you guys can, you know, pray or, or send, uh, you know, uh, peaceful vibes or whatever, you know, that would be appreciated. Uh, you know, because we hate to see her suffering now. Well, she's not suffering now, but, you know. So, anything else, babe? Not that I can think of. Just no, more. Brad's working on some different uh, designs for, like, little little wagons that you would sit on a desk or, you know, um, that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, one thing I just thought of, like, with the wagons and stuff is if somebody could set that on the desk because I will do some that are painted and we'll do some that aren't that you could you know even put um, the cup holders and put pins and that kind of stuff you know just or a few ideas set a plant pot in there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so you know it'll be cool yep so all right well I hope you all have a great fourth of July whether you're not doing whether you're doing anything, not doing anything, you know, you know, it's all good. And uh, remember, we love you guys, and we do cherish your friendship so very much. And we think you're awesome. So with that, say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.